Uh, what exactly does meditation do for the brain? Very cool research that's happening with meditation and the brain. So some different studies have shown that it directly affects the parts of our brain that deal with fear, anxiety, and stress. And so that's why you hear a lot, oh, you know, why don't you practice meditation if you're struggling with a lot of anxieties and worries? So we see that it affects the amygdala, which is that part of the brain. We're also seeing that it increases um, gray matter volume and it helps us with memory, concentration, uh, processing information. So uh, also emotion regulation and being less reactive to the things that happen around us, which I think we all struggle with every day because there's a lot of things to be reactive to. So what's the difference between meditation and mindfulness? Meditation is a broad term for an activity. Mindfulness is a very specific set of activities within the genre of meditation. I like to define mindfulness and, you know, whenever I'm getting ready to, to talk or do a presentation or anything like that, I always try and do a little research and freshen up. And when I researched what mindfulness is, I found over 50 different definitions. And for me, that's daunting. I can only imagine how you would feel if you don't know anything about it and you find that many options, what do I follow? What do I listen to? So I pieced together a few different ones and cut them shorter and simplified them to make it really easy. Mindfulness is awareness without judgment. Let's go through the benefits of mindfulness. I know you have, it improves your physical health. That's one of the first ones. Absolutely, you know, sim again, similar benefits as meditation. So improving physical health, increase attention, focus and clarity, right? Because we're training our brain to be able to focus on one thing at a time, lowered anxiety and stress levels, again, because we're targeting that part of the brain that directly affects that. And a, a higher and more intense feeling of being connected. I think we feel really disconnected nowadays because we've got so many things that we're multitasking. And mm -hmm. even though we have ways to connect with people, we're all, in a, the rat race, so to speak, running around trying to get done what we can.